Good morning. Um, well, I guess it's sort of afternoon-ish now, but today I'm going on a movie date with my husband, so I thought I would do a get ready with me so you could see my, one of my new palettes and some of the new lipsticks in action. This is the finished product, and if you want to see, that's my husband. If you want to see how this was achieved, just keep watching. Okay guys, so if you're still with me, that means you want to see all of this naked faceness, which is okay. Um, fresh out of the shower, I have, of course, wet hair because I'm fresh out of the shower. Uh, but I did put on my moisturizer and that new Ulta pore serum stuff, so still checking that out. Still going to give you a review on that as soon as I feel like I've tested it enough to know if it's good or bad. But we're going to start out with this NYX Pore Filler because I want to look poreless on my date with my husband. So actually, I don't know if I do this right. This really didn't come with any instructions at all. So I just kind of rub it on to the places where my pores look the biggest and then pat it in. It seems to work, so I, I guess that's the correct method. If any of you know the correct method, uh, let me know in the comments because I, I have no idea if I'm doing this right. And since it's working for me, I'm just going to keep doing it this way until I know better. So, Since that is on, I am going to use... Bare Minerals Prime Time Primer today. Um, it's very similar to a lot of primers. It's very similar to the Smashbox Primer. Very similar to a Hard Candy Primer. Um, it's just that basic, well, I can't get the lid back on it, but it's that basic silicone type. Yay, my son is bringing me tea. Here's your goddamn tea. How rude. Rudeness. I slaved over that cup. I slaved. But it is delicious. William, you put it in the microwave and then added some sugar. How do you know? Thank you, though. I might have kiddo made it. Thank you. You don't mind. Such dramatic teenagers. Anyway, um, just, it's a lot like any other primer ever in the world as long as it's silicone based. So, there's that. Don't feel like you have to go out and spend, a, you know, boatloads of money on um, Smashbox or, or even this Bare Minerals. Because honestly, you can get it for like six bucks at Walmart by purchasing the hard candy version. Oops. Those big companies probably didn't want me to tell you that, but it's the truth. So, you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to give this time to kind of sink into my skin. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to dive under my little makeup station here and grab a tissue. Or rather, I'm just going to grab the whole box because I'm going to need it. One thing I do kind of want to point out is uh, my bedroom is not... A studio we actually live in this room so unlike other youtubers who kind of have the perfect bedroom set up when they they video in their bedrooms sorry this is real life guys eh, whatever gonna have to have a sip of tea though okay so before we get started I really want to let you know that I did play around with this palette and there is a ton of fallout so we're actually going to do our eyes first today so that I can kind of wipe away anything that I don't want before I do my foundation. I have two, two looks that I, I kind of played around with. I did one on one eye and one on the other eye. And since my shirt today is kind of pink and purple and blue, I think I'm going to go with the blue one. So we're going to use... Um, this one right here called Shattered, and we'll be using um, Maui Wowie and Sin. So it's not going to be, I mean, it's not a nighttime look, so it's not going to be super crazy, 
but there's going to be that little blue pop of color and I, I think it looks beautiful. So let's just get started. Going to use my Lorac behind the scenes eye primer and it really just takes the littlest bit for both eyes. Um, otherwise you kind of run into issues, but the only thing I don't like about this is that it does not, it doesn't really have any color to it. So it doesn't blanket out the eye, you know, get rid of all the, the veins and stuff, but that's okay. It just means that I have to go in with uh, my Naked Basics palette and kind of kind of get that done, which, grabbing that down. And the Naked Basics palette, we're going to do, hmm, let's do Walk of Shame and a big fluffy brush, or rather pretty decent sized brush. I am so not... I'm not organized. I'm, I'm just not. Mornings is not my deal. So I'm going to dip into Walk of Shame and I'm just going to basically go over the entire eyelid to, to make it all one color. This is the, the pinky nude that's in that palette. The, the yellowish nude is foxy, but since I'm using blues, I'm going to go with the pink one. I don't want it to, I don't want my blue to come off green. Okay, so I pretty much have that all over the lid. Just going to kind of go over it lightly with my fingertips just to make sure that the color is is everywhere and I haven't skipped anything. Um, I'm going to keep my Naked Basics palette out just in case I feel like when I'm done, the, the even though I like the way it looked last night, just in case I feel like it's just a little too glittery for daytime, um, I can just kind of add some matte colors in there. But I'm going to start out with this... Uh, this MAC 217 fluffy brush, which is ridiculously dirty. I'm so sorry. My brushes are always really dirty. But I'm gonna, I'm getting it clean-ish. Um, gonna dip into the color Sin. And I'm just gonna kind of wash that over the crease. Just back and forth. This is gonna be my transition shade. Well, you can transition shade into some breakfast too, Mom. Ooh, breakfast! Awesome! Thank you. You like how I made that part of your video too? I, I do. I do like how you segued into that. Transition Smart kid. Shade. Smart kid. So we're gonna finish the eye before I, I eat my breakfast. Just because I'll forget where I was at because I'm that kind of morning person. Okay, so I think you can kind of see, once again, I'm so sorry guys, the light is terrible in my bedroom, but you can kind of see that I don't have it really dark. Um, it's really just there as a transition and it's not meant, the color's not meant to pop. So I've got my flat brush that I'm going to actually lay down some color with, uh, going into the color, the bluish green color called Shattered, and I'm going to try to, this is the one that really just gets everywhere, um, I'm going to try to just press that in to the lid area, and this is such a beautiful shade, do you see that, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. both sides just to make sure that they are even kind of take it all the way up to the center and then touch the the tip of my brush into it so that I can get up against the the lash line I think that looks pretty good. It's kind of messy. Nothing's blended out yet, so don't 
don't totally freak out. But I am going to grab a, a, a tiny flat brush. This is actually a concealer brush, but I mean, how tiny is that? You can't, can't use that for concealer. And I'm going to go into this color Maui Wowie, which is really just a more greenish tone of that sin. And I'm going to pop that. And if I do it right, it'll just look like a transition. But if I do it wrong, it's going to look like just a bunch of green there. Since this is daytime, I really want to just look uh, not natural. Obviously, this isn't natural, but somewhat natural. Now it's time to blend. So I'm grabbing that same 217 brush. I'm going to go back into the color Sin, which was my transition shade, and that's what I'm going to use to blend. I don't feel like this is too much glitter for the daytime. I'm going to probably pop... Um, I don't know, either without sin or, or even Venus, because Venus is very, uh, not glittery, but satiny under the brow bone. I did find that Polyester Bride in this palette, this ammo palette, is very, it's, it's weird. It's, it's not, it's the only one that's powdery, and I don't like that, so... Okay, now that I've got them all, like I've got the center blended out, and look how natural. That's, that's better, I think, now you can see. See how natural that looks? Now that I've got that, I'm going to go back in again to that shattered. And just really brighten that lid color up again. Now this is actually going to go under the eye also, but I want to get rid of that fallout first. And there's there's a little bit, not not as much as last night, but I was probably tired last night and just not really paying attention. So what ifs? We're gonna try this polyester bride. I I didn't I just swatched it. I didn't try it on my skin. So let's see what it does when we pop it underneath the brow. Actually, I think that works well. Now this is a very glittery eye, <laughs> but I like it. Kind of blend again. All right, I'm gonna clean up my eye area, do my eyebrows because that really takes all my concentration in the mirror, and I'm gonna eat my breakfast, and I'll be right back. The struggle to grow out a pixie cut is real. It is truly real. Anywho, I'm back. So my eyebrows are done. As you can see, I used the little Ulta kit that I got in that, that free set. Um, I used the blonde, the the light wax, the light powder, and the wax. Of course, I used my small angled brush that I always use for my eyebrows. But Anyway, so I've cleaned, I've cleaned up around my eyes a little bit. I did want to let you know that I went ahead and went in with um, this Naked 2 to kind of deepen up the crease. I did think it needed that. After I did my eyebrows, I was like, oh, it needs to be a little bit deeper. So that is done. I am going to leave out uh, this palette for a little bit because after the under eye and all that goes on, I really want to pop a little bit of that blue underneath there. So what we're going to start out with for the face is this NYX uh, Dark Circle Concealer. And 
I actually just do this with my, my ring finger. I think this stuff works amazing. Just kind of pop that where <coughs> any bags are. It's kind of noisy in my room right now because my dog is eating leftovers and my husband is playing a video game. Okay, so just kind of take my ring finger and smooth that out, and we are done. Well, with that, anyway. It would look kind of crazy if I just called this done. But I'm um, finally, as promised, going to use my Chanel um, Perfection Lumiere Velvet. I've used this a lot. I just haven't ever did a get ready with me or a review of it. You do have to shake this up really, really well kind of liquidy so the way that I do it is I literally just put drops on my finger and then just go in and kind of war paint it up. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a candy shop. Oh, it's just oh, it's so good. So with this I usually start with with this you know about this much. I just go to town with my brush and then any spaces that I feel like I need more coverage, I'll just go in and I put like a second coat on. Now my dogs are outside barking. <sighs> Typical day, I guess, at the Ortiz Stronghold. So that's one coat, and I feel like it's really pretty, but I just like a little bit more coverage, um, especially right in here where I'm going to use a highlighter. And I'm really just dabbing on the tiniest little bit on my finger each time. I mean, I'm really not using a lot of product. And around my mouth, but it seems to like not ever take a lot. I have tried this with a beauty blender and I don't like the effect as much. I'm really just I'm really just smelling it now <laughs> um, I'm buffing it out <laughs> I will say that I think that that Ulta serum I think it's making my nose peel um but it could just be that it's a freaking blizzard outside, so I don't know. Okay, I've messed with that enough. <laughs> but so good. All right, so now I'm gonna use this smat. Sorry, I guess it'd be helpful if you could read it. This Smashbox powder. This stuff's kind of cool. You literally just—it's uh, got like like razors, and you twist it, and the product comes out. Oh well, you gotta do it the right way. See how it kind of, I, I think it's kind of cool. I'm going to grab a, a huge fluffy brush and dip this into this. And I'm really just going to use this to, to set where I put that concealer. It's one thing I can say about this Perfection Lumiere is it really doesn't need powder. Um shaved off way too much so I guess I am gonna set it all uh, but if you if you notice it really doesn't change the powder really doesn't change it's still luminous looking and beautiful um, doesn't need the powder powder doesn't change it but 
shaved off too much. So, powder's done. Eyes are done. Well, still have eyeliner to do. Um, but now we're going to go on to cheeks. And before I do cheeks, I actually want to do my contour. If I can remember where my contour palette is because I don't see it. Oh, my God. Uh, contour palette. <laughs> I told you guys, I'm so on so unorganized so I really want my contour to be kind of I don't really want a contour at all I just kind of want to I guess bronze up my face so I'm going to use a fluffy brush for this and I'm going to go ahead and, and use this uh, contour color but you know it diffuses it on a on a big brush so it's not going to look as like carved out, which I very rarely do that. I, I think it looks weird. But just a little bit under where my, my cheeks are going to go. And just a little bit under here. Blend, blend, blend. Now I'm going to go into the bronzer color. Still just a tiny bit. Put it just on top of that. Up some. Work back. I'm going to take it around my face. And then go right into the highlight shade. Now this highlight shade is not, um, it's not a luminizer. It's, it's literally just, it's just a matte highlight. Which is good because it means I can go over all these places with this matte highlight and then use my luminizer a little bit more judiciously. Ooh, look at me using big words. Okay. So done with that. I'm gonna move on to our cutie patootie little Chanel uh, cream blush. I don't use too many cream blushes, but I really like this one. It's in the color um, Revelation number 63. It's kind of a peachy color. I do not use a brush for this. I actually just go in with my finger, pick up some. It's a very, very creamy. Very creamy. Well, you can't even really see it because of the... There you go. And I kind of go up here and I I just kind of place it where I want it. And it looks like I'm putting a lot on, but it, it will buff out. The color kind of like melts into your skin after a minute or two. So even though it looks really bright, it, it won't stay that color. Which I still haven't decided if I like or not. Like, I, I kind of wish it would just stay, but. But uh, sometimes I have to put more. So I'm just going to use that same fluffy brush that the last thing I used was the highlight powder. And I'm going to lightly buff it into the skin. Kind of meeting it up with the hairline so that the, the blush looks as natural as possible. And if we need more, we'll do more later. But I think that's going to be enough. Um, when I first used this, I put not enough at all. I mean, I put the barest little bit because I, I tried to make it... The first pass that I made was what I thought it was going to look like. No. <laughs> you see Prince Kitty Kitty in the window? <laughs> My house is a zoo, people. My house is a zoo. So, 
I'm going to use this Essence Gel Liner that I kept calling Essie the other day for some weird reason. I don't even, I don't even know what that was about. I do need to find my liner brush that I want to use. This one will work. I'm going to use this very judiciously as well. It is super black, which I absolutely love. And it's super creamy. I mean, it's like the best gel liner ever. Um, this is going to take some work. So pardon me for being all up in my mirror. I'm not doing a wing. I'm literally just lining the eye with this to make my eyelashes look thicker. Look at that, super black, crazy, crazy black, just beautiful, love it. Okay, woo, love it. Now I'm going to take just what's left. I'm not going to put any more on the brush, but I am going to close this up because it is gel and it, it will over time dry up. So set that to the side. I'm just going to use what's on it. I'm dropping everything and kind of go over the bottom lash line, not necessarily underneath it, but I'm bringing it up to meet that corner. Oh, so pretty. Okay, now we're going to go back in as promised. Um, but I don't think I'm going to use the shattered. I think I'm actually going to use mildew up here, this green in the top. Um, and I'm going to use a flat brush that has a really flat tip on it. Can you see the tip on that? I'm just going to dip into mildew on the edge of the brush, and I'm just going to take that underneath the eye. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so that part is actually done. I am still happy with my blush. Um, got some edges though. Still happy with my blush. I'm going to take a normally nighttime <laughs> illuminator. It's the Naked Illuminated and I'm going to use my finger I'm just going to dip into this this rosy glitteriness and take it right down the bridge of my nose and right above my lips, my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to take the actual brush that came with it and that's what I'm going to use to do like right here. Like a C motion. This is not subtle, so if you're looking for a subtle highlight, this is this is not it. <laughs> this is straight on bling, and I freaking love it. So, there's that. For mascara today, I'm going to use Smashbox's uh, Full Exposure, and it's okay. Not any better or worse than anything else, so I'm just going to get this done. If I can keep it out of my hair.
that is it. It takes me forever to do that, but whatever. The last thing that I'm going to put on this beautiful vase is the Clinique Black Honey uh, Lipstick and Lip Gloss. If I can find them. This is the Black Honey Lipstick and I know it looks scary. <laughs> Don't be afraid. This is so moisturizing. And then top it off with the lip gloss. Just adds kind of an extra dimension of shine, a little extra layer. I am completely obsessed with this lip color. <laughs> and that's it. I'm going to fix this somehow. And then I'll see you guys with the final look. Okay guys, so here is my finished look. I stand by what I said about growing out of pixie being a real struggle, <laughs> but I feel like my makeup looks absolutely beautiful. I love the blue. I love the little pop of green underneath. I love the blush. I love the lipstick. I love everything about it, and I hope you liked it too. So if you found this this tutorial helpful then give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see all my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!